So one of the most important thing to understand when we are practicing Vipassana is why are we practicing Vipassana, right? What problem it is solving? And if we really don't understand this point very clearly, it is relatively easy to get distracted. Yeah. So why are we practicing Vipassana? According to Vipassana, the core reason for us to practice Vipassana is the first noble truth. And the first noble truth is life is suffering. Or more direct translation would be the truth of Dukkha, right? Dukkha Satcham. The truth of suffering. And this is the root problem that we are trying to solve with Vipassana. So what is, what does it mean that life is suffering or truth of suffering? And how is it affecting us, right? And how does Vipassana solve it? So before we get into this, I mean, basically fundamental teaching that we need to understand here is these four noble truths. Truth of suffering, there's a cause for suffering. Cause of suffering is craving. And there's a solution to that craving. It is possible to completely get rid of this craving. And the solution is Noble Eightfold Path. Yeah. So this first point that there is a truth of suffering is really why we are practicing Vipassana. It is really the problem that we are trying to solve with Vipassana. So what is the truth of suffering, right? I mean, it goes from gross to subtle. On the very gross level, there is a suffering of the body, right? We are getting sick and we are getting old and all these kind of a very superficial level suffering. But more deeper types of sufferings, which is the suffering of attachment, right? We are unnecessarily suffering because of this attachment. And when we get attached to things, and unfortunately, that attachment happens on the subconscious level. So it's not like we are intentionally trying to get attached to things, but anything that generates a nice sensation or feeling inside the body, we automatically get attached, or more accurately, our mind automatically gets attached. And then it starts creating craving, right? So it is this type of suffering, which is a meaningless suffering that we are going through and which is making our life very difficult. And if we have a little bit mindfulness, we can see how unnecessary it is and how much difficult it is making our life, right? So this is the type of suffering that we are trying to solve, right? Fundamentally, it goes more deeper than that, right? The attachment to five aggregates or attachment to self, but it goes deeper. But in our day-to-day -day life or in most of our cases, what we are really, really suffering from is these attachments and the craving it creates, those attachments. And this is the problem that we are trying to solve with Vipassana. This has to be very clear, right? So that we don't get entangled into some other kind of philosophical discussions, right? So... The problem is that we are suffering and we are suffering because of these attachment to sensation, those attachment creates craving and these cycles continuously goes on and that's why we have so many mental thoughts and that's why we have so many mental confusion and all these kind of things. So once that point becomes clear and it only can become clear unfortunately that it, it is very difficult to realize this without meditation, right? So if I remember it correctly, right? So almost like 10, 12 years back when I was doing my first session in the meditation, they just, the instructions were very clear, right? For next 25 minutes, just focus on your breath. And you realize that you cannot really focus on your breath even for like a minute out of those 24 minutes, right? 
which says quite a lot about and this is a normal case right people if you haven't done a meditation even if you have done enough meditation you would notice the mind is really restless right that but that's like a very superficial level of problem and we generally try to solve it with some kind of a therapy and affirmations and some kind of guided meditation which has its effect but on the root level as long as this process is going on which is one level deeper right that attachment the mind is going to be stressed right the mind is going to be restless and mind will have all kind of these issue as long as this underlying cause is going on right so this is the suffering that we are trying to solve right and this is the problem that we are solving with vipassana right but then what happened to all the deeper truth right truth of who am i and truth of like universal unity and all these kind of things as long as this attachment and craving is going on we that kind of knowledge first of all will not solve these cravings and attachment right even if you fully and deeply understand who are you and at least on the intellectual level right who are you and what is the nature of really nature of the reality and all these concepts even if those concepts are true they won't really help in any sense to get rid of these attachment craving and suffering right what happens is just we get attached to those concepts only right i was once again reading this book from raman maharishi which is one of my favorite book and one of the disciple was asking him the similar questions about i really understand what you are teaching about this who am i and you know all these kind of things i really really understand but i am still equally suffering right i still my mind is still very restless and my i'm having all kind of same issue that i was having before right nothing got solved even though i fully understand what you are teaching and the raman maharishi was saying again around the same lines of for this i mean you have to practice yoga meditation and things like these to solve this problem right because of your past habits you are facing these problems so even the higher knowledge of such kind is not going to sol- solve these kind of problems right this problem has to be solved through mindfulness and through you know insights into nature of impermanence right and this is what the vipassana is trying to solve right so it has to be very clear like this is what we are trying to do and this is why this is the kind of problem it is solving the more of our attachment goes become weaker the more of this process become weaker we are more prepared for these deep other deeper insights right the insights into who am i and all these kind of higher teaching i would say once we have get rid of this you know once we have like uh, some degree of freedom from this whole attachment and craving thing yeah so i mean obviously it's nice to have this kind of conversation and knowledge around other things which are more deeper but they are not going to solve this craving issue they are not going to solve the attachment issue and they are not going to solve the restlessness of the mind and for this you need to solve you need to practice either vipassana or something which solves and address this particular problem yeah so this is the first noble truth that there is suffering cause of the suffering is craving and the craving happens because of this attachment to sensations right and it is possible to get rid of this craving once our attachment stop start to become weaker so once this point is clear we are at least have some immunity 
to all these rather meaningless conversation conversation around whether buddha was enlightened or not or you know <laughs> whether vipassana has this negative aspect positive aspect all these things become sudden relatively meaningless because there is a particular problem that you are trying to solve with the vipassana right so having that clarity is very important 